Good morning. Today is surgery day. I'm starting to feel super anxious. Last night I was able to get good sleep, so I'm thankful for that. Um, but this morning I woke up and I just feel like this overwhelming like anxiety. So I'm a little nervous. So we're going to go hunt this morning. I'm home with the kids and my mom and sister just got here last night, so they're upstairs sleeping. I have to be, I have kind of an odd time, like my time to be there is at noon and my surgery is at one. Normally I've heard of surgeries being like right in the morning, like eight o'clock, but that's not the case here. So I stopped eating and drinking at midnight, so that wasn't too hard, but eight to 12, I might be a little bit hungry. But I honestly don't think I'd be able to eat anyways because I'm so anxious right now. But I wanted to vlog and share my experience. And I'm gonna have my husband vlog a little bit on here too. I'm so nervous, but I'm ready. Hope you for the best. Okay, I just set up a little bed station. I have some cozy blankets. I have my laptop bag in case I wanna do work hours after probably <laughs> but there it is that's what i'm gonna come home to hopefully i use this pillow i'll have some chapstick took my jewelry off i'm ready to go i'm going to bring some kite pajamas these are long sleeve some cozy pants and i need to pack my bag I think they're going to give me a bra, but I'm going to bring one. Mm, some cozy socks. Getting nervous. Really nervous, actually. I think I'm going to wear this there and then just pull my hair back. I might, want, I might ask my mom to braid it. But I'm gonna wear this there. That way I can just throw it off and then I'm gonna have them help me put pajamas on before I leave so that I can just come home and get in bed. I'm gonna bring these, so I'm gonna bring them just in case. And I think I'm supposed to take extra strength Tylenol like two hours before, so I'm gonna bring that too. I'm getting nervous, but I'm actually getting excited too. I can't talk to him. Say hello. 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 Gigi's gonna watch you, and mommy's going to the doctor today. Uh, Ali. And Ali's gonna, yeah, Ali's gonna stay here. But listen, when mommy comes home, you have to be nice. You have to be gentle. You can't touch mommy. Okay. Why? Because mommy's gonna be sore. Because the doctor's gonna give me surgery. Mom. Yeah. Because mommy has butterflies in her belly. I have to get them out. A purple one? Yes, there's a purple one, there's a red one. Why is there butterflies? Yes, a lot. There's five butterflies in there. Five. Oh yeah. my goodness. Five. How did that happen? I swallowed them. <laughs> did you swallow caterpillars? Yes. <laughs> I thought they were gummy worms. <laughs> Ready? Smile. What are you doing? Nothing. Thank you. I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> Already sleeping. In the waiting room. I'm very nervous. This is cute and comfy. You ready? I'm awake now. <laughs> We're here. My forehead looks so big right now. I have my hair in braids. And I'm really nervous. I feel like I'm gonna pee myself. I do not feel good. Hey, thank you. We're at Olive Garden right now, getting food. And I feel like shit. The only thing I wanted was coffee. And CJ got me coffee. 
And now we're getting food. This girl looks so familiar. How's it going? Is it for Clifford? Yep. All right, it's a little heavy. Did you want it with you or on the back seat? Anyways, it's like, what time is it? It's four o'clock, so we just went and grabbed dinner. And I am just gonna eat and then go home and sleep probably. We're gonna eat at home. Yes. That might fall. Well, can you, you grab it? Are you done recording? Yeah, I guess so. We'll keep talking. No, it's okay. I'll keep my just, hand closed. Just grab it. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You were gonna do both of those. Uh, do you want a blanket on? Yes, please. Hey, so you guys didn't send me your sides. Oh, I didn't know there were sides. So I just got everybody chicken and gnocchi soup. Ooh, that sounds good. I don't know if Ellie will like that. Like if you don't like it, Sarah said she will eat it. She's gonna eat mine. She uh, she likes gnocchi. She might eat the gnocchi out of it. Good morning, guys. Today is the day after surgery. I woke up with a scratchy voice. Um, yesterday, I really was in a lot of pain and just really like a lot of tightness. And I got a good amount of sleep. I slept from 12, like consistently slept from 12 to 5. Um, so I'm still like a little bit tired. My last pain med was at 5. And I feel good right now for not having medication since then. It is, I'm pretty sure it's almost 10 o'clock. So I'll be due for another if I want it. But I'm going to try to like start pushing it further. Um, because at night is the only time like I'm worried about it. I'm so uncomfortable in the bed. Um, I'm going to try to like walk around today and get the blood flow in. My throat, I think I said this, my throat is scratchy because I was intubated. I thought I was getting sick, but it's because there was a tube down there and I forgot about it. Um, yeah, other than that, I feel pretty good. I have a little Q&A that I asked people to ask me questions on Instagram. So I'm going to do that later on the vlog. But for now, I'm just going to go downstairs and have something to eat and have some tea to try to help my throat. Because if you can hear it in my voice, like, 
just doesn't sound good. So, I can't believe I actually have boobs. Like, that's so wild to me that I have, like, a figure now. They look so good. I'm so happy with them. They're super hard right now. They're, like, hard as rocks. Um, but they said that's normal for the first, like, couple weeks. Um, and they said by, like, month two, they'll be, like, fully settled. But I think the firmness and, like, tightness goes away after, like, the first week. So I can't wait for that because it is very uncomfortable. <laughs> But let's go downstairs, have some brekkie. <laughs> Got a special delivery. This is going to come in handy right now. My sore throat. But how cute are these flowers? This is from Allie and Jaina. An immunity shot of the day. I was trying to turn the light on and it just pulled string. And I was like this. It's not hard. Like, you can call us for things like that. I know. It's just a light. Hi, guys. It is day three of recovery from my breast augmentation. <sighs> I have not been feeling good, so I did not vlog yesterday. But right now, we're about to go to our gym, and it has, like, an indoor track. And I want to walk around a little bit. And everybody's sick, Daddy, so Daddy. none of us are feeling good. But we need to walk so that I don't get pneumonia or have a bunch of blood clots. Headed out to the post op appointment. iPads, snacks, baby, husband. Husband's not here yet. He's running upstairs for something. His keys. We can't leave without the keys. We have everything but the keys. Outfit of the day, Target, sweats, and hoodie. I've been living in this. Also, this is a little TMI, but my sweat, I can smell my sweat smells on this band. And I'm really hoping that today they tell me I can take it off. Husband's here. Let's go. We're at Pulp right now. The sun is like in my face and it's brutal. But we are getting smoothies. Um, it's just a smoothie morning, even though it's literally 25 degrees outside. But yeah, CJ's mommy, going to walk mommy is going to the doctor. Um, we just picked Alessia up from preschool. We are outside of the smoothie bar. CJ ran in because he doesn't, he knows what he wants, but he doesn't know the name of it. So he ran in to find the name and then I'm going to run in and choose what I want. So I'm excited. I love smoothies, but we barely ever Me get them. Too. You too. Yep. I love smoothies. Fuzzy doesn't like smoothies? Yeah. Here he comes. He's about to come out. And then I'm going to go run in and grab our smoothies. Everyone Taste test. Did you film yourself in there? Mm -mm. No. I was embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, actually. I don't know what I got last time, but this is way what better. It's called Mango Tango. It's like a bunch of tropical stuff. You wouldn't like it. Bud? You like it? Mm hmm. Yummy. What do you get? Strawberry banana with an added peanut butter and an energy booster. I am back. I have buoys. Um, you can't see them in this, but that's how I like it. It's meant for me, you know? I am going to read my frequently asked questions on my breast augmentation. I posted something on my story and I'm going to go back and find it on a scale of one to 10, what was your pain the first night? And my answer to that is that it wasn't really painful. It was just uncomfortable, but I also was on pain medication, medi but I also was on pain medication. So that is what helped me get through. But um, yeah, even when I was like not on the pain medication, like when it was like time to retake the pill, I wasn't really in pain. I was just uncomfortable and it was hard to sleep.
The second question is, did I get a lift in implants? And yes, I did get a lift in implants. I got size 475 and then I also got a lift. So basically my boobs were out and down, saggy, you know, kids. And then um, when they did the lift, they lifted them, lifted them up and they were very small um, and put the implants in. So I did get both. Um, someone said, was this a reduction and did insurance cover it? No, it wasn't a reduction and insurance did not cover it. This is completely out of pocket. And the next question going into that was how much was it? In full transparency, it was like, I wanna say it was 13,000, like right around 13,000, but I got a discount and I paid 10,000 for my breast dog. The next question is what made me decide to do it? And this year I've just been like finding myself emotionally, physically, like I just, or last year, I guess you should say, I lost 60, almost 70 pounds. I just want to feel good about myself. I've had two kids and I feel like I deserve it. Um, and I feel amazing. So, so I'm glad that I did it. I really am. I would not have done it any other way. Um, next question is about cup size. I ended up going from like the smallest A that you could have. Now I'm at a 36C. I honestly thought that I was gonna have like double Ds that size. Like I was like, wow, that is a huge implant size. But with my body, like it does not look that large at all. The next question is over or under the muscle? I did decide to go under the muscle. Um, over the muscle was gonna give more of that um, like plastic surgery Miami look and I wanted them to look done but I it's for me if I wear a push-up bra you can see them and I love them and they look amazing but when I'm just doing normal day-to-day -day, I just want a little bit like a little bit of cleavage but you can barely see like you can see a little bit but if I go down you can see a little bit more but that's how I want it. I wanted it very natural. I didn't want to be like showy or look like I got plastic surgery. The next question is, did I want this done before I had kids? And no, I was 19 when I got married and I was 21, I think, when I got pregnant. Um, this was the last thing on my mind. I never thought I would ever do this in a million years, but I wasn't, I also wasn't like, ew, she got her boobs done. Like, I don't care what people do with their body if it makes them confident and they love themselves. The next question is, if I worry about breast implant illness, and the answer is no, <laughs> I don't worry about that. I have looked into it and it is really scary and it is a risk that you take with this, but if I ever like feel like I am not feeling well, if my life is significantly worse than what it was before, symptom-wise, I'll just get them taken out. Right now, I feel amazing and I feel really good. So I'm not worried about it unless there's a reason to worry. Another question is, is it normal for not staying overnight in the clinic after surgery? And I don't know what's normal really, but um, because I don't do plastic surgery that often. All the people that I've talked to that have gotten a breast dog have gone home the same day. Um, I think for this specific surgery, it's normal. I think if I was like unwell, they probably would have kept me longer, but I was fine and they were like really surprised with how quickly I bounced back. Do you get to see how the size is going to look on your body in a consultation? So like, did I try on the sizes and did it looks similar to what it looks like now. Um, when I answered this question, this was right after surgery, like right after. So I didn't really know what I was saying, but <laughs> obviously those implants that you're trying on like aren't in your skin. So it's a little bit more difficult to tell um, what your body's gonna look like. But I would say like what I tried on is pretty similar to what it looks like with a shirt on. But it was, when I was trying it on, it was like hard for me to see it. I'm so glad that I did it and I'm like so happy with it. But um, when I was trying it on, I was like, I don't know if I actually wanna do this. Like, I don't know if I'm actually gonna like it. Another question is, will I be able to have more kids if I wanted to? The answer is yes. And it doesn't affect breastfeeding. Um, at least in my case, they were able to keep everything intact and, and I can have more kids and breastfeed in the future if I want to, but 
right now I don't know if that is something that I want <laughs> I don't know someone asked me this is like one of those questions that I'm like the audacity like literally the audacity someone asked me why why because I want to and I want to feel confident and I want to love myself and I genuinely feel like if something helps you feel better about yourself like life is too short to be miserable and uncomfortable in your own body so that's my why and then the last question is is the feeling similar to when your milk comes in um yes it feels like very engorged tatas that's what it feels like if you've had kids then you know like when you're when you're um Yiddies are like full of milk and you need to pump that's what it felt like it was very uncomfortable but it wasn't like it wasn't painful I, I've heard some people say that um engorged boobs are very painful um in my experience it was just very uncomfortable and it felt super similar to that Anyways, I am so sorry that this video took so long to come out. I wanted to sit down and like actually answer these questions post-op and not like a week post-op, but I wanted to wait a little bit until they were settled until I can give you guys like actual answers and like how I feel and whatnot. I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling so confident. I love them. Um, if you're thinking about this, definitely do it. It was the best decision that I could have ever made. I'm literally so happy that I did it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!